Good evening everyone, time for another member update. This is going to be the last update of the year and this is one that really surprised me. I really didn't have a plan on what I was going to do this on until I started to dig into the privy story and let me tell you I was shocked when I found out what's really going on behind this story. So you can see we're going to close the year out at $15.67 so that's going to line up a great year next year for buying these coins, especially now that we have more information about what to buy. And let's just jump right into this privy story. So this is, I want to read you this story here. This story came out in May of 2013. And this is the Britannia adding a privy mark. So we're going to do here three privy coins, the Perth privy, the Canadian privy, and then the Britannia privy. But let's look at that story first. A subtle addition to the Britannia silver coin is a big deal to the Royal Mint. Royal Mint officials announced the continued expansion of its Britannia bullion program with the release of a one ounce 999 fine silver bullion two pound coin sporting a privy mark. The privy mark, which distinguishes the coin from the standard 2013 Britannia silver bullion coin, is on the coin's edge. And you can see the little snake there. A privy mark is usually a small, small device used on coinage. Today, privy marks are generally used for marketing and promotional purposes and are often commemorative in nature. The added adornment brands the coin as special and can be a logo, words, or a combination of the two. On the New Britannia, the privy mark celebrates the Chinese lunar solar year of the snake. Privy marks generally appear as a design element or the field of a coin. While world mints like the Royal Canadian Mint and the Perth Mint have issued privy marks for more than 15 years, this is the first year for the Royal Mint. Britain's use of a privy mark follows the adoption of the 9999 fine gold and 999 fine silver for Britannia bullion coins beginning in 2013. Royal Mint officials seek to capture a larger share of the bullion market, which generally favors pure metal coins over those of lesser fineness. The privy mark takes the form of curled figures of a snake appearing at intervals around the edge of the coin. Philip Nathan's Britannia figure appears on the reverse with the Ian Rank Broadly effigy of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse. The privy mark Britannia silver coins were produced for precious metals dealer Amark in the United States, which offers the coins exclusively on a wholesale basis. So there's the story. Now, I did not realize when I started digging into this story how big of a story this is. We not only have the Perth Mint and the Canadian Mint minting privy coins, but now we have the Silver Britannias with a privy mark. Now, this is not the only privy mark. When I was researching the mintage figures for the Perth coins, I actually came up across mintage figures for an F-15 privy, and uh, I don't, I haven't seen the coin, so I don't know, but my my guess is it's just a little F-15 fighter jet. Now, the mintage on those coins, the demand for those coins was virtually nothing. Whereas there was they were selling out of the lunar privy coins. Now, here's another one that shocked me when I was just doing the pricing research of these privy coins. Here is the 2013 Somalia one ounce silver African elephant snake privy. And you can see here's the snake privy here. And there's the price, $75 at Atmex. I didn't even know the coin was there. So now we've got the Perth Mint, the Canadian Mint, the British Mint, and now an Austrian Mint all doing Chinese lunar year privy marks. What does that tell you? Well, we're going to talk about that later. Now, here's another coin. This is the 2014 year of the horse with a lion privy. I can't find these coins anywhere. 
So if you can find them, let me know. So let's look at the figures we've got here. Again, I said we have a Perth and a Canadian. So P is going to be for Perth, C is Canadian, and B is for Britain. The British one started with the snake privy. That's the first year of the British coin. But I decided to start with the year of the dragon privy. Now, the Perth coin that has the dragon privy is going to be the kookaburra. So you have the kookaburra with the dragon privy. This is 2012. You have the Canadian maple leaf with the dragon privy. The 2013, you have the kookaburra with the snake privy and the maple leaf with the snake privy. And then in that year, you got the first year of the British coin with the snake privy. Then you have 2014, you have a horse privy on all three of them. So let's look at the prices. Now, when I tried to find these coins, you can see, for the most part, I, I wasn't able to find prices on them. Um, the A price to be able to buy the, the kookaburra with the dragon privy, we actually picked up some of those, but they're not available anywhere right now. The Canadian coin with the dragon privy, you can buy them right now for $65. Now, you can get the, the Canadian coin with the snake privy for $31. I think I found them on JM Bullion. Uh, but the Perth snake privy, that's not available. Uh, the British snake privy, that's not available anywhere. Uh, you can still get the Perth horse privy for $20. I have to look and see where I found that. I think I found that on JM Bullion. That could be a fantastic buy. And then you've got uh, the horse privy of the Canadian and the British. So you can see how the eBay prices stand up there. You've got a strong $50 on average for that Dragon Privy coin. And the mintage down here is 65000 Now, it was strange. I couldn't pull all the mintages. The only mintages I could find were the mintages for this uh, Dragon Privy Kookaburra. And then I did see that they were at 39000 but this was back in May, according to the Perth Mint. So the the full allotment was only going to be 50,000 so i went ahead and just filled it in at 50,000 cuz if they were at 39,000 last may then obviously they've filled up the allotment i was unable to find any mintage figures for the canadian maple leaf i did find maple leaf mintage figures overall that are way way up in the millions um, as high as 15 to 20 million per year but i don't know what the privy mintages are same thing with the Britannia mintages, although I did find that the Britannia mintages were only 100000 a year, and that shocked me that they were that low. So it does appear that that story is correct, that Britain is trying to get more of a market share for their silver coins. So back to these average prices on eBay, you can see that both the Canadian and the Perth coin are holding there at about 50 bucks. Now, for the 2013, you've got about 45 bucks for the Perth coin, you've got 36 bucks for the Canadian coin, which you can still buy those for 31, and you've got $29 average price for the Britannia Snake Privy coin. Those are not available anywhere that I could find. Now, let's bring this up to the current year. Actually, this is the very end of the current year, the last day of the current year, but I expect that there will be a number of these coins available after this year is over. It's going to be stock that people have. So you can see that the Perth Privy coin, the Horse Privy, is already averaging $41 on eBay. I believe I said that was JM Bullion that I found those. I'll have to double check that. So that's going to be, if you can get those anywhere near spot, that's going to be an obvious buy. The Canadian one, that's quite a bit lower. You can see that it's down $10 below the Perth coin 
and the Britannia is actually seven dollars below that so you can get those Britannias for very very cheap in fact all of these horse privies are very very cheap right now so that might be a very good play but what is the upshot all of this it is uh, if you remember the interview with Jimmy Rogers where he said that this century is going to be the century of the Chinese that the 19th century was the century of the Brit British the 20th century was the century of the Americans and the 21st century will be the century of the Chinese and then he said that if you want to get rich then in this century the way you're going to get rich is by doing business with the Chinese now the Chinese make it very very hard to do business with them because they don't let people come in and start businesses they make it difficult but what he said was that if you want to take advantage of that and get rich the best way to do that is to find something that the Chinese want to buy and sell it to them now this is shocking to me if you think about the fact that we have these are what what could you call them the crown colonies we've got Australia we've got Canada and now we've got Britain herself all doing Chinese lunar year privy marks we've also got the Bavarian mint with the Somali elephant we've got all of these mints putting privy marks they could be any kind of privy mark they could be a privy mark like I said there's the F-15 that didn't sell any down in Australia but the privy mark that they've all chosen to do the waning Western powers of the British Empire the only ones that aren't doing any privy marks are the United States now that's a shocker if you think about it what does this mean well I think it means that this is the beginning of the recognition that Jimmy Rogers is correct these mints are recognizing that the money is going to be in China and they need to appeal to the Chinese and what better way to appeal to the Chinese than to sell them a coin that has a privy mark that is based on their lunar calendar so that was a big shocker for me these coins actually have better pricing strength in my opinion than the regular Perth series and certainly the the regular Maple Leaf series and although the Br Britannia series I checked it when I was looking through these is fairly strong for older Britannia I think that this may be uh, possibly a big boost the only proviso I would say on on that on top of that is that the British have chosen to put their privy mark on the edge of the coin that's a little bit strange I personally like the way that the Perth Mint has done the privies so for example this horse with the lion privy I would love to get this coin but I couldn't find it anywhere so if anybody knows where this coin is for sale it would be it would be great to pick up this coin I, I'm not really sure why it's the lion privy normally they do a privy that is the the next year but I the next year from the horse is the goat so I'm not really un understanding why there is this lion privy on this horse coin but if we look at the prices we can see that they're very stable the mintages appear to be very low and I just don't see how you can go wrong with these privy coins so wrapping up the year this is really a good position to be in if you're somebody who still has dry powder and can stack I think that we need to keep a close eye on these privy coins going forward the, there are a lot of deals that I saw on those privy coins and some of them were like three rolls for sale at a time and some of them were as very as low as the low 20s per coin for the one ounce coins so 
it's it's something that you need to keep your eye on. I think that all of the privy coins, except I'm still on the on the edge. <laughs> pardon the pun. I'm still on the edge about the Britannia coins. I'm not really sure if they're going to catch up, but I think they probably will. So after doing this research, I am convinced now that these lunar privy coins are probably going to be one of the most valuable deals going forward as far as maintaining their value. I think they may even be better than the, the Perth Lunar Series itself. Certainly, if you can get a Perth Lunar Series, we saw here on the spreadsheet that these kookaburras with the privies, these are the strongest, definitely in price the Perth coins hold up, even with this latest Perth one, holding up at $41 an ounce for a 2014 coin. So I really think that going forward into the next year, we need to keep a close eye on these Privy coins. Now what I'm going to do is do some research and watch the bargains. As soon as I see them come up, uh, I've noticed that JM Bullion has been getting a lot more coins in at a lot better prices, so we're going to keep an eye on them. But for next year, we're going to keep an eye on these privy coins because going forward, you're going to want to find something you can sell to the Chinese. And we'll talk to you next time.